Manila was once a glorious city. It used to be one of the most powerful cities in Asia. Until the Second World War brought it down to its knees. And the poor victim was never the same after the violent tragedy. Many parts of the city have become invisible as it reeks in poverty and decay. But one man still believes in Manila. His name is Carlos Aldran. He is an activist and a popular tour guide. And for him, it's time for Manila to regain its lost glory. We join him as we rediscover Escolta, what was once the busy playground of the Filipino elite. My name is Lex Bonifé and this is Lexco. Project's called Making the Invisible City Visible. Mm -hmm. Because itong area na to, once you go past the Pasig River, lampas ng Plaza Lota, lampas ng Intamuras, lampas ng Ilamita, it feels like everything disappeared. Mm -hmm. it, it's hardly ever found in tourist guides, lahat ng mga mapa ng Manila, it just stops on the Pasig River. A lot of people say, oi, yung mga maganako dyan, ang daming mga squatter dyan, ang dumidumi dyan. But this is really where our history is, and you have to look through all of that. So what I'm trying to do is try to bring back the old Manila into the consciousness of people. The tour began at El Hogar Building, one of the earliest skyscrapers of Manila. This historical structure was said to be a wedding gift by one of the wealthiest families in the Philippines. In 2014, this heritage site has been threatened with demolition by its new owners. Since then, conservation advocates have been working hard to protect this beautiful piece of history. A few walks away is the cinematic view of Manila's post office, Pasig River, and the Jones Bridge. Before the Second World War, a tram used to run in the area until the Americans bombed the city. The American government decided to do us a favor. And they said, since we blew up your tram system, we'll now give you all of our leftover Jeeps from the military for $1 each. And they gave it us for $1 each. We decorated that Jeep and it became the Jeepney. And as long as we have Jeepneys on the street, we have not gotten over World War II. was on the itinerary, and the afternoon treat was hopia, a popular snack in Manila's Chinatown. After a few minutes of respite from the heat of the sun, our next stop was a small museum inside the Calvo building. Here, we get to have a taste of the pop culture in the earlier part of the 20th century Manila. film history, music, or advertising, this place is a must-visit when in Manila. Along Escolta, Mr. Seldran introduced us to some of the iconic buildings of the historical street. Structures that have become silent witnesses to war, earthquakes, destruction, and the changing lives of its people. In one corner, we got to visit the statue of one of Manila's most beloved leaders, Mayor Arsenio Lacson, whose name has been dragged to a juicy rumor with the former First Lady Imelda Marcos. But he's also known for organizing the Miss Manila beauty pageant, of which the winner of the beauty pageant is Imelda Marcos. But she wasn't the real winner. The real one was a girl named Norma Jimenez. But apparently, Imelda was able to convince the mayor that she deserved it. He took a crown away from Norma and gave it to Imelda. Yeah, we're <laughs> and that's where the rumor comes from that the deal that they cut, the result is Aimee Marcos. <laughs> the daughter of Mayor Lacson. They say, not me, they say. But in a television interview with a controversial political icon, Imelda Marcos categorically denied this rumor that never refused to die. Fooling around. And I never fooled around. Yeah. Malinis ako. Hindi ako. 
No, 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 no. But beyond history and personality, the work of Carla Sildran is all about changing the perspectives of Filipino on what life in the city should be. We are really losing the art of the plaza. There's no such thing as a public space anymore in our cities. And the reason why actually Ayala's made such a killing is because they came up with an idea called, why don't we make a plaza and then let's aircon it? And that became Glorieta, right? And ever since then, there's been no turning back and bringing people back into public spaces anymore. Walk this way! The tour ended with a group lighting a candle inside the Santa Cruz Church where everyone was asked to make a prayer for the city of Manila. The tour isn't about seeing. It's all about reimagining. More than being a story of a forgotten city, it's all about having that faith that one day Manila will find itself again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Let's Go.